Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. So, last time, we went through the, uh, Wind Palace, and that's about it. Uh, so now I'm actually going to be doing a bunch of side quests before I more uh, pretty much finish the game. And I probably should have done a lot of this beforehand, but I'm lazy. So I'm actually going to do kind of a... Well, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give Lon Lon Milk to, uh, one of the Minish in, um, in one of the, in the, in, in the Minish village. There's like a researcher and this is kind of, um, I want to say this is a more obscure side quest you can do. Uh, actually while I'm here, I can get my remote bomb, so I'll, might as well do that right now. Just talk to the guy. Yes, I do want some remote bombs. That'd be very nice. Thank you. Hell yeah, bitches. If I remember right, I think uh, these remote bombs work rather well against the final boss of the game. So, back in Minish Village. So, you might have been noticing, or maybe you haven't been noticing, that there's only three available Picolite in the game. And you might have noticed that there are other empty, like, bases or... Or glass jars so in order to have him to have more like supply that's not that's not who I wanted to talk to I guess he's actually inside the barrel here are you him no that's not you so as you can see there are some kind of like flower buds here right and you can see the ones here are not blooming at all so what you do is you talk to this guy and this guy is a researcher, so they're basically going to do research to develop more Picolites. And so this person names, needs milk, which, as you can see, he already has it, so I'm going to give it to him. Pretty expensive for milk, I gotta say. That shit was 100 rupees. I mean, what the fuck? The fuck kind of milk is that? I mean, goddamn. Must be pretty damn good. Either that or you really don't see milk around Hyrule. So they got, you know, the fucking price gouging. So if I remember right, you actually have to wait a while for them to get it, um, to get it to develop. So by that time, uh, I'll have the next item, which I forget what it is. But I'll probably do that, like, next video or something. So what we're gonna do now is we actually... I've been meaning to do this kind of too... I've been meaning to go to the different sword masters and learn their techniques. There is one more I can learn from the master in Hyrule Town. And with the with the rocks cape, we can actually get a piece of heart. Which I'm going to do that right now. This is one I actually figured out my own just by fucking around. Okay, maybe that's not quite how. I think you have to hold the button. There you go. So yeah. Just hit the bell with your cape and there you go. It's a heart piece. Definitely one of the more original ways to get one in the game. I, I'm i pretty sure when I was a kid, I, I think I either looked that one up or I was just fucking around with the game. But I, I'm trying to think because I didn't have a strategy guide at this point and we didn't really have very... I, I mean, we still had dial-up, so internet was sort of hit or miss still. So, I mean, I might have looked it up. Who knows? So, yeah, the last technique this guy can tell you, uh, you have to have the... Rocks cape in order to do it, so you know we, yeah, you just jump and hit A. That's that's all you do. It's kind of cool. Strangely, this is like the first uh, in Twilight Princess. This is actually the first technique you learn. Although in that it's called the Killing Blow, but it's basically the same thing. You jump up and stab your sword into the ground. So yeah, it's cool. And so that's the fourth Tiger School, hell yeah. And now we are going to go to... I'm pretty sure that's all he has to teach us. Yeah. And another thing. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's another Swords letter... Uh, swordsman newsletter that we can look at, so... Another thing I might have forgotten to mention is... 
I'll get the fuck out of the way, dog. Another thing I forgot to mention is if you have actually bought a certain amount of them and you haven't got enough t techniques, then they won't release the next one. But since I just learned technique, I'm sure she'll be able to... Yeah, okay. So that's the fourth one just came in, so I can buy the fifth one now. Yep, order the fifth one. Uh, I don't think I read the third one, did I? So let's go ahead and read this real quick. Got a bone to pick. You're sure to mo run more than a few skeletons on your journey. That's why this week's newsletter is dedicated to all you bone breakers. A good solid whack to the head should do the trick. That's their weak spot. Try smacking them with a beam from your cane of Pocky. Oh. Yeah, I actually forgot that. And yeah, you can use your gust jar to take their heads off, which is kind of funny. Okay, if you hit with the bomb bombs, they'll run over the place and explode. And explode. I already know that. I already knew about the arrows. I just don't really bother with them. Light arrows are amazing. Well, I already got that. Oh, they go through grass. They fell a monster with one strike. Yeah, but the thing is, it takes so long for them to charge. And and you can't go in a different direction. You have to you have to maintain your uh, direction. So it's kind of shit. Uh. Yeah, there are nine of the brothers. So uh, that's a lot of people. So let's go ahead and read the fourth one here. Have you ever seen a golden monster? Why, yes, I have. In fact, if you've been following my Kinstone guide, they we've made probably like ten of them appear. I mean, if it wasn't obvious, oh, killing golden golden monsters, you know, in any RPG I can think of, you know, like Dragon Quest or what have you, uh, I would expect them to drop either a lot of gold or or a lot of experience. Yeah, I already knew that too. Well placed down thrust. I didn't think of that. Hmm. Remote bombs. I already have those. I went to Lon Lon Ranch. I saw the ghost of Switchblade the first defeat a cat with his bare hands. I say bullshit. I say bullshit on that. Let's go ahead and look look at the fifth one. Oh, it hasn't arrived yet. Oh, I see. You have to learn each one for each book. I guess that makes sense. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Let me try to think now. I know we can go to the one on Mount Cornell. Yeah. We can go on Mount Cornell. I'm trying to kind of remember where he is. Um, There's the golden enemy. Actually, I, mean, I, I, I could use some money. It's not, let's, why not kill him? I've been kind of wanting to show you guys these anyway. I'll probably kill him in my off time. Come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. Jesus Christ. So how much was that? 200 rupees. It's, it's kind of what I thought. Uh, actually, don't I go this way instead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right up here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Is this... Okay. I know I did that at the start of the game. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, yeah, another heart piece here. Let's grab that. We'll get another heart piece from another uh, master. Yeah, you can also do kinstone fusion. I'm going to do that. Um, uh, I'm going to do that off screen. So I just want to talk to him. So this is Greyblade. Uh, I, I forget what he teaches you, honestly. Oh, the roll attack, okay. I think this move is only really good against Dark Nuts because I think it can kind of pierce their defenses. That's the only it's the only enemy I can see this working well for. Alright, show us how to do it. Yep, that's pretty much it. 
You just roll and... Well, you have to do it a little bit. You have to time a little bit better than me. You could just spam the A button. That's probably the best way to do this technique. I wouldn't worry too much about needing to use it. I'm going to grab these as well. Because why not? Okay, so grab... Got that. Let me think. I believe there is... Yes, there's one in Lake Hylia. So let's go there. Um, yeah. Just go down here. Well, actually, there is... Um, well... I'm trying to think. There is actually two heart pieces we can get here. Or maybe three. I think one's on top of, like, a beanstalk right now. I gotta kind of figure out how to get there. That's another thing I do need to get, I do need to get more of the uh, heart pieces. Yeah, this is Wave Blade. Gee, I wonder what he teaches you. Something about waves, maybe? Dangerous technique for dangerous, or for desperate time, the Peril Beam. First, you must have only one heart left. Second, use your last ounce of strength to swing your sword. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's kind of the opposite of, like, the, uh, like, the sword beam you use in, like, the first Zelda game. It's like the opposite of that. Instead of having all your hearts filled up, you only have one heart filled up. It can be kind of neat. I would say uh, the only... Again, the only thing to... The only way to find good use for this is probably with, against like a dark note or something. So there's the next one. And how nice it fills it up automatically for you. And there's a new heart, heart container there. Uh, I want to say... I want to say I think... I think the top of the beanstalk actually has a heart piece. Um, so I'm gonna... I should probably hurry up and go there. You know, it hasn't been that long. Grab the piece of heart here. Ah, shit. I almost didn't make that. I'm trying to think of how to get there quickly. It's kind of a cluster fucking here, to, to be honest with you. I think it's up this one. And then down this one. Oh, shit. You fucker. Bitch. What now, ho? Okay, let's see what's up here. Honestly, I should have written some notes down about what was on these beanstalks. Okay, yeah, there is a piece of heart. Good, good. 200 rupees. Uh, it's probably 200 rupees. Okay. I guess that works, too. Man, I really need to use the rest of uh, those shells. I got 900 of them. Alright. Piece of heart. There's that one done. Uh, you actually do get a, a full heart container from something. Uh, it, it actually, it's from the last fusion in the game, so keep that in mind. Okay, so now that that's done, I know you, I know where you get the last bottle, so we can leave that off for now. Probably get that next episode or two. Uh... Mm, I'm trying to think of where it is. Uh, I believe... Like, can we get that yet? I'm trying to think if... Can I get this thing yet? Uh, I think I have to do it after I get the four sword, actually. Yeah, something like that. Oh, the pickle light thing should be should be about done. Let me let me check something real fast. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I actually did look up a heart piece real fast. Um, 
Like, actually, I looked up two things real fast. So, I'm trying to remember how to do this. In the house here next to the shop, if you go through this thing again, you go out the hole here. I I completely forgot about this. So, what you can do is there's actually a, what do you call it? There's like a something by the well. How the fuck do I get to it? Uh... I don't see a vine. There's supposed to be like a vine here or something. The fuck? Said up here there's supposed to be a vine, but I don't see one. I mean, it's. Is it talking about that? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, now I gotcha. Yeah, here we are. All right. Damn, that was uh, <laughs> that was hidden well. Uh, I don't even think I noticed these flowers throughout the whole game. Okay, that makes sense why this vine was here. Okay, and another thing. Eh. And another thing you need to you should be doing is well we're gonna get a couple more newsletters I suppose since I do have mash uh, not mash I do have max cash here I guess I was thinking of the old uh, Vietnam story oh why'd I do that all right you should be able to sell me two more okay Good. And give me the other one, bitch. And we're gonna need, we're gonna actually we're gonna read them at the end of this little video here. I think I'm going on what like 18 minutes or something. The time isn't right in front of me, so let's go ahead and. We need to go to Hyrule Castle Garden. Oh. Now, technically, you need the lantern for this. I mean, that's what you're supposed to have, but it really doesn't matter. So you see this here? Like I said, you're supposed to use the lantern, but you can just chop it open. See, there's a ladder here, right? So let's go down. And uh, go over here. Turns out it's a dojo also. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, you need the lantern in order to light this place up. My bad. Because otherwise he'll say... Yeah, he'll say it's too dark. You know, light the room. Okay. That makes sense. So let's talk to him. This is Grimblade. I can see why he's called that since he lives in the dark. So we're going to learn the sword beam. So when your hearts are full, swing your sword. Uh... Definitely probably more useful than the peril beam. Because it's a lot easier. I would say it's a lot easier to stay at full health in this game. Than to try to play it with just one heart. So. There you go. It's that easy. Okay, so that's the second to last one I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm missing one more. In fact, I can probably get that next uh, episode. And I can get this art piece now, so. Alright, cool, cool. Okay, so I have, uh, 16 art pieces left, I would say. 
Well, let's end off this little episode by me going back to Hyrule Town and reading the rest of those uh, newsletters, huh? I'll get uh, I'll get the other materials necessary for the for the other picolite while I'm at it. So okay, what is this? Swordsman Noodle is order five. Would you like to read it? Yes. Fire up that chili chump. Have you ever seen a sorcerer who throws cold curses at you? Well, next time he shows up, whack him with your lantern. Oh yeah, I did forget about that one, didn't I? So I, I guess that could only work on the. On the ice wizards, not the fire ones, of course. Those pig-faced moblins. You see them around Menace Woods, right? They're big and dumb. Well, they're also rich. Beat one up for some quick cash. Uh, yeah, I, I think they actually have a bigger... Uh, a bigger chance to drop, like, kinstones and stuff. Mysterious amul amulet that raises your abilities if you use it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's talking about. An amulet? Huh. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. He's talking about Tangle. Alright, let's read this one. Have you seen a monster wrapped in bandages that tries to grab you? Bandages burn easily. Yep, I know that. Because I use it all the time. Because those guys are fucking annoying. Those heavy-handed floor masters are their irritating friends, the wall masters, and they're really annoying. But if you beat one, they say you'll be rich. Yeah, they also, they also drop uh, more money. Rupee stealing nasties. Those rupee camouflage creeps have been ripping a lot off of you lately. Uh, the oh, the more money you have, the more it takes. I wouldn't doubt that. Ain't that bullshit? Hey, Switchblade, do you have a hobby? Training. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, seemed pretty obvious, didn't it? So let's read the last one. For real swordsmen only? You know the roll attack, right? Yeah, the one you do mid-roll. I bet Grey Blade told you to attack just as you finish the roll, right? Well, actually, you can, you can do it just as you start the roll, too. But the time is very tricky. You can do it. Hone your skill. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Or something. Yeah, I... Like I said, the roll attack, you don't really need to bother with that. Yeah, that cane of pocky is suck sucking with a gust jar. I think I've heard of that one. Short fuse by bombs. Apparently they drop bombs at a higher... Oh, no way! But bombs drop actual bombs. I never would have thought. That blew, that blew my fucking mind away, let me tell you. Issue 8, the last one is coming soon. Oh my god. Until next time, warriors. Fuck yeah. I think the last book you get is actually uh, green to match, you know, like Link's outfit. Or should I say uh, Jess's outfit? Okay, so I think that's uh, good for an episode, guys. Uh, act actually, no, there is one thing I wanted to show off real quick. So uh, the first house that got loaned by this by this um, guy, what's his name, Gorman? You can actually have another tenement tenant. Uh, I'm not even sure if I showed the first one. So uh, if the dog would get out of the fucking way. So personally, what I would go with is uh, is the balanced one, which is which is Nehru, or Ferrari. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, do I already have some? No. Oops. Yeah, she'll she'll put a charm in your bottle. This your power and guard will be boosted for a while, and even if you use it, she'll immediately refill it. Um, this is pretty useful against bosses. And another thing you can do, just to kind of show it off, when you have the second house built over there, on the east, on the west side of town, you can go to one of these two, uh, remaining girls, and you can tell them about the house. So I'm gonna show Den here the last house. 
So you'll be able to have two out of the three, so that's good. And I think if you just go back in, yeah, she's not there anymore. So I'm going to go get her her charm real quick. I believe it makes your outfit red. Personally, I like purple. I think it looks badass, but... You know, I might as well use it, you know. Yeah, so this charm will raise your attack, if you couldn't guess that. Or your strength, attack, whatever. And Nehru's will boost your defense, and I think it turns your outfit blue. So yeah, that's that's all I wanted to mention. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.